Hello everyone and welcome back to another snack side video in learning how to use Unreal Engine 4. In this video we'll be covering the topic of layers, how we use them and what they're useful for. So layers are a method of organizing your level design in your engine. So levels can be quite complicated, filled with tons of props, tons of environments, actors and so forth. And it can be quite messy and hard to navigate around. So, one way about that is using layers. So to use layers, you need first of all to see the layers tab. To do that, go to window and go to layers. Here you'll see a default one, which is fine, we can leave that as is, but let's start showing you how to actually use them. So let's say for example, I want to create uh, some boxes here. And become like so. So now I can click on one box here, I can go to my layers tab, right click and do add selected, la selected actors to new layer. And I get a new layer come up. And here I could have one layer that's set up to say, for example, walls, if I spell it correctly. There we go. So now this will contain all the walls in the level. And just like here, if you use like Photoshop or any other tools like that, you can hide an, a, the layers as you see fit which makes things really easy to uh, organize yourself with. You can also right click and add uh, actors to existing layers. So here I'm gonna add this one to the walls layer. So I'm gonna right click on my walls layer and go add selected layers to selected actors to selected layers. Choose that and there you go. They're now both inside that layer. So as you see, really simple, really quick, really easy to use and really useful to organize yourself when developing quite large levels with loads of little bit of details. So my top tips for you when you're setting up layers, you want one that's got the the, the actual geometry that you're walking on, uh, so w uh, ground, walls, and stuff like that. I'd usually put the ceiling in a separate layer, put light uh, and other effects and particle effects and things like that in another layer, actors, interactives, props, things like that in separate layers as well. But ultimately it's down to you how you want to organize yourself. And that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've learned something new today. If you have any suggestions about things you want to learn about in Unreal, leave a comment below. I'll be interested to see what you want to learn about. And uh, I'll make a video on it. Thanks again for all your support. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.